Welcome back. You know, owning and running a family business can certainly be a challenge, but being able to make that business grow, thrive, and adapt over six generations, that's practically unheard of. Yeah, yet there's a place just a little to our north that's doing just that and making sure all of their customers feel like part of the family. Photojournalist Justin Wynn and I got to visit Ebel's General Store. Here's a little history. Well, Chris Evels was the founder. It was an old wooden building, 1927, got moved over on this corner. It was so neat to hear the first-hand story, how they put it on skids and moved it with horses. And one gentleman said, your grandpa got by cheat, Mark. And I said, well, why is that, Bob? And he said, well, they moved it one day, only one horse, so a horse could only eat one bale of hay. So he got it moved for one bale of hay. <laughs> it was just hardware, grocery, and clothing. And uh, then in 84, the good Lord took Dad home. And Dawn was firmly entrenched then already with me. And we saw the need to get into different business ventures. I was never one to have a lack of ideas. I like to say to people, I'd have an idea and I'd wade into the water and pretty soon the water would start to come up around me and Dawn would save me. Got into meat processing, got into catering, Dawn's catering business, which is very, very well appreciated around the country here. We got into doing smoked meat with Little Town Jerky Company. Those brought us out into a farther community and it just brought people back to us. I'm going to go back to a couple statements my dad said. He'd say, Mark, the customer has a prerogative to just go wherever they want to. You have to make them want to be with you. And that struck me as being so true. The customers are, they're so precious to us in the, in the business world because you can't run a business without them. We try to make them feel like they're at home. Our customers, we want them to be friends with us, and we want to be friends with them. The kids were with us, you know, as the they whole grew time. up. And they just worked with us. The and whole time. Yeah. We're just happy they wanted to stay, and, you know, now we're kind of helping them. We're thankful, we're humbled that they saw some good in what we were doing. We're honored that they're here with us, and that growing up with us in the business it was so integral for them and their knowledge because that young people aged in their 20s, they were in their 30s and 40s so far as their mind, how to manage, how to handle things because they had that experience growing up. In Falmouth, Michigan, it's pretty rural. You know, Michelle, it's kind of like the little engine that could, you know. We thought we could, we think we can, but we thought we could because we know God and we know he watches over us, and we've seen it time and time again. We have a full-line grocery store, and upstairs we have a really nice deli, and we make a lot of, all our salads are homemade, you know, through our catering department. And then upstairs we have our meat department, you know, we do a lot of meats. We're kind of known for our meats, that's a real big draw for us. And I gotta have a little fun here, just a okay. minute. And you can have a frappe while you yeah. shop it. <laughs> well, we saw the need for customers were asking us when we did their meat processing, you should make jerky for us and you should smoke our hams and bacon. So we started to do that and then they said, well, you should have this out all the time. So there was the federal stamp that had to come in place, the USDA inspection. So in 94, we opened up Little Town Jerky Company. Met an old German sausage maker when I was just starting up. I said to him, Harvey, this is where I'm at. I have not smoked a lot of meat, but I will make you a promise. If you will be my teacher, I will be a good student. So Little Town Jerky is that great uh, smoked meat, homemade feel of meat. Ebel's General Store is really Little Town Jerky, and Little Town Jerky is really Ebel's General Store. And if you need an even better excuse to get up to Ebel's, they are having their anniversary sales coming up. In Reed City, it is July 1st. That is tomorrow from 11 to 2 p.m. Then in Falmouth, it's Saturday, July 8th from 11 to 2. There'll be 
free pulled pork lunch, giveaways, and the lowest prices of the year. If you want to learn more, you can always visit evilsgeneralstore.com.